Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Honkai Star Well. Sparkle has left an early challenge letter for Black Swan, and the latter has to rise to the challenge. Today, we are doing Sparkle's companion mission. Dr. Edward. Trailblazers from the Astral Express. Welcome to the Dreamscape Sandstorm. For the third time. Uh, low time no see, old big guy. Long time no see. I've already made the necessary preparations. Be careful. We did pass the safety inspection stipulated by Article 027 of Dr. Ferris and Article 076 Railway Street. However, this dreamscape will feature unfiltered and unpolished fresh memory. You will make for a very vivid experience. Veteran game. Gorgeous type dreamer. Thrill. If you're into that kind of thing. If you feel any discomfort, please leave the dreamscape immediately and seek professional medical help. Luckily, I just so happen to be an excellent doctor. I'll be a psychiatrist. <laughs> Let us begin. Please, close your eyes and rest your forehead on the dream bubble. Okay, it's just a dream bubble. Oh yes, and here is one. That elegant girl mentioned something before she left. The nature of this memory is special. Don't ruin the dreamscape experience for anyone else by spoiling the ending. Hmm, okay, then let's get started. Black Swan offers a special warning regarding this dreamscape. The nature of the memory is special. Don't ruin the dreamscape experience for anyone else by spoiling the ending. And of course we'll find the trash can! In my estimation, there is no question about it. This is murder. Murder. Such a foreign word to us. The people of Penacone could never come to any harm while under the watchful protection of the family. In a dream, even if you're bashed a thousand times with a hammer. At worst, you'll still wake up in reality in a hotel. Not necessarily. Even Ooh, if the guy. Institute harm, the criminal intent is clear enough. You specifically came here to cordon off the scene because of the unsavory nature of this case. Right. Can I trust the sample this time? You're not wrong. Even if there are no casualties, being smashed over the head with a hammer in the middle of the street for no reason at all? Mm. This is not the kind of thing that happens on Penacone. You are guests of the Oak family, so you may investigate the crime scene. I'll be on standby over here. Okay, walk off. So I was shampoo, that's kinda weird. And I'm being black swan for this. Are you a witch? Just how did you manage to convince them in the blink of an eye that we're some kind of detectives? I use my tits. Hmm. Offer uh, no explanation. Just some suggestions at the memory level. If something happens in everybody's memory, then that something becomes a fact. Rather than hearing endless explanations, would you like to experience it for yourself? No, no, no! Hey, you can save that for the enemy. She's like, then good. on to the next order of business. Let's discuss your companion, shall we? Memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. I've been watching you for quite some time. That's Spikeo. You still look well, her Max. at me when you first entered the hotel. You followed me wherever I went inside the dreamscape. In the windows along the commercial street, in the pond water reflections of the Eidene Park, even in the reflections of the wine glass. Everywhere, my dear, do you have a crush on me? Well then, seeing as you're so interested in me, let's play a little game. I left a puzzle for you near OT Mall. Solve it and prove that you're capable of pleasing me. If you can solve it, then we can talk. Don't leave me waiting, my dear. Before Panacone gets flipped upside down, try to find me, catch me, and stop me. There's actually more than one memo keeper who's come to Panacone. She's mixed me up with someone else. 
But no harm, no foul. The address that the mask gave you was right here. But you never would have thought that when Miss Sparkle mentioned a game, she was talking about wanton slaughter on the streets of Penacony. Such a direct act of provocation is enough to get my competitive side worked up, too. Madam, forgive me. <laughs> I had no idea about anything she said. As you saw, I went through a brain scan and everything. I'm just a friend, helping her deliver a letter, that's all. I never knew this was actually a declaration of warfare. They say you shouldn't kill the messenger. So, maybe you can just, you know... Let me go. You all are the big shots here. I'm really not on your level. <laughs> what a frightened look you have. Don't worry. Since this has nothing to do with you, I won't be suspecting you of anything. Why don't you come take a stroll with me? Oh, seems like I can't escape being an assistant detective. Oh, fine. It's all fine. No big deal. Mm-hmm. All oh, enemies. Uh, wait. Are those enemies? Nah, I'll leave that alone. I can still block found memos about the case. If there's anything you'd like to know, please ask away. Okay, we're going the victim. Who was the victim? An IPC employee named Shamari. Eyewitnesses reported that a tall, strong man wearing a large robe with long sleeves walked right past Shamari and suddenly assaulted him with a hammer. Shamari collapsed on the spot and woke up from the dream. Ooh. The murderer vanished in a flash. Ooh, that sounds just like Sparkle. Her best asset is transforming her appearance to look like someone else. I mean, that's true, she could do that. We're going to Street Tree's troop present at the scene of the crime. Who are those two little guys? Seems like the assailants stole the troop from elsewhere and deliberately placed them here. What nerve. They don't even have the slightest consideration for public order. Those two have clammed up. I wonder if you two could help pry open their mouths. Looks like a puzzle that Sparkle has left behind for you. Okay, we're guarding evidence at the scenes of the crime. Any leads yet? This is a developing case, so there aren't many clues yet. All we have to go by are the weapon used by the assailant and the victim's ID. They didn't even take the weapon with them. Sounds like they're trying to provoke us. Despicable. Can we summon the victim? Where's Mr. Shamari right now? I'd like to meet him. I'm afraid you can't. The Oaks came forward and calmed him down. Mr. Shamari expressed that he understands the unpredictable nature of dreams, and went on to vacation in another dreamscape. Best not to bother him. Guests' experiences always have to come first. Oh, I'm afraid by the time we find him, half of Penacony will have been sent back to reality by Sparkle. Looks like we'll have to play this little game of Sparkles then. Hmm, yeah for now. Alright, hey you boys. <laughs> you wanna see my boobs? Come closer. Lady Black Swan, you're here! I'm the constable, and this here assisting me is the bailiff for this case. Mr. Coldfeet, why'd you do it? What? So they can talk after all. Miss Black Swan, they're heading straight for you. Don't interrupt, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> I understand Lady Black Swan has quite the intellect. I'm sure you'll be able to get to the bottom of the Sparkle murder case. The Sparkle murder case? Wasn't the victim Shamari from the IPC? You're wrong, Lady Black Swan. The victim is evidently none other than the matriarch of the Goldhammer family, Miss Sparkle Goldhammer. Oh. I guess Miss Sparkle has written herself into the skit here, and this has nothing to do with the actual case. Goldhammer? Is that her real surname? Never heard of it. Sounds made up. Sparkle doesn't sound like a real name either. Um. Miss Sparkle was supposed to receive three valiant warriors at the Goldhammer residence today, but upon their arrival, all they found was her body. Miss Sparkle had been smashed over the head by a hammer and died on the spot. Such a brutal act of violence. My investigations discovered that the three warriors were supposed to escort supplies back to their territory the day before. 
but they were unexpectedly ambushed by the Annihilation Gang. They narrowly escaped and barely got away with their lives, finding their supplies almost completely raided. So they all shared a motive for killing Miss Sparkle. To escape punishment! So the three of them teamed up to kill her. <gasps> Is the case closed? No. Uh, there can only be one murderer. It's not an unsolved mystery if there are three murderers. Hang on, wait. Hmm. Uh, if you can't justify it, don't bother. Got it! Those three were all vying against each other to be number two. They couldn't have cooperated on anything. Oh, it must have been one of them acting alone! Mm, that actually doesn't make much sense. Even if they were on bad terms, those three... Please begin your investigation, Lady Rock Swan. There are lots of clues at the crime scene that are sure to help you apprehend the real culprits. I've got the case file right here. If you want to learn more about the suspects, talk to me. Mm, I hope you know there's enemies, so let's talk to you about the sussy bucker. Lady Black Swan, allow me to introduce the three suspects to you. Lefton, Shongshan, and Wright. Lefton is one of Miss Sparkle's chief lieutenants, whose right hand was unfortunately severed while he was valiantly fighting off the Annihilation Gang. He's now learning how to write and hold a fork with his left hand. How tough that must be. Then there is Shongshan. This guy's a coward who ran away as soon as a group spotted some bandits along the road. He ended up smashing into the side of a cliff and getting his face disfigured. It's a real shame, as he used to be one of the rare handsome men left around town. Last of all comes Wright. This guy was so insatiably greedy that he still came back to try and embezzle the rest of the supplies after they narrowly escaped with their lives, lying about how the gang had taken off with everything. Lefton and Zhongshan were so incensed that they broke his legs. Hang on, I'm confused here. Left on? Right? Is this some kind of joke? What? Where did you get that idea from? Do you need me to go over it all again? Hmm, that won't be necessary. That won't be necessary. I've memorized every detail. Shampoo is a baka. We're idiot. No wonder you're a memo keeper. Oh, yes. Alright, we got the first clue down. Is this all we're doing? Hmm. Let's check this out first. Look! An ID card. Uh, Talent Motivation Department, Shamari. Is this the victim's? Mr. Shamari's belongings should have disappeared alongside him as he woke from the dreamscape. The fact that this ID is here means Miss Sparkle placed it here on purpose to prove that she definitely attacked someone. Yeah, definitely. She is evil. We know that. A light hammer. Holy moly! This hammer is super heavy. Ah, this must be the Aren't murder you weapon for the Sparkle murder case. This dude. And Sparkle also used it to attack Mr. Shamari. I'm barely able to lift this using both hands. I have no idea how Sparkle could ever use this to hit a target. You're not the chosen one. It's like you're trying to hold Thor's hammer, but it's not working. Alright, so now we're gonna sort this case out. Is that all the evidence? How are we meant to solve this with so little to go on? <clears throat> oh, you scared me! When did you pop out? The two pieces of evidence that you found are related to the attack on Shamari. Miss Sparkle didn't leave them lying around for no reason. They're clues to the puzzle, but there are still some other clues that were placed in other areas, so they won't spoil the crime scene. Isn't that a bit unnecessary? No, no. It's disruptive to have a stack of irrelevant things crowding a crime scene. Miss Sparkle is a law-abiding citizen who'd never bring extra trouble to the family. Seems quite nice of her, if you ask me. Uh... Looks like Miss Sparkle is adding a little spice to the investigation. Let's take her up on her offer then. Mr. Assistant Detective, this way. What? The, the, you just call him... You just call him... Assassin... Um... Well, Assassin Partner? Why could it be me? Clearly is. That could be me. Oh, I'm moving on. It's morphin' time. 
So now what? I guess we're going this way now. Do 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 do. Bring the little boy. Enter. Okay, who bring you here before? As clear. And now is something else. So the first clue advance is right here. The first one. Hmm. What's this little device here for? Could you please let me know? It looks like a little button. Don't push it, Lady Blackstone. Well, whatever you do, don't push it! That's the mutually assured destruction button that Miss Sparkle installed. Once pushed, Miss Sparkle and the entirety of Penacone will instantaneously go up in smoke! Miss Sparkle also has her own button! The second she pushes it, you and the entirety of Penacone will instantaneously go up in smoke! That sounds like... Both buttons can do the exact same thing. Yeah. Exactly the same. Uh. Oh. Aren't you going to ask me why? Okay. Nope. Why? Never mind. Because she is fair. No. This is nuts. That sounds funny if you ask me. It's like saying, uh, the other one, um, you die. What? It's only the first one. The first one you die, the second button you die. Wow, you idiots. Okay, there are enemies over here too, so you gotta be careful too. Hmm, like... Who's that to warn me on this side, actually? And this box is blocking my way, so, um... And that way, so I'm going to turn to Black Swan. Oh yeah, cut in the caca. <gasps> oh, I could! Usually you can't when you do this quest because I'm using the child character, so now the strong... Pop pop. Okay, back to Black Swan, because he's my favorite. Kafka is always my number one main. My second main happens to be Black Swan. We should be careful because there's enemies in this side too. Oh boy. Um. Oh, he said he can't see. He can't see shit. Oh, this is a big pulse you gotta do now. I mean, it's not that hard if you ask me. And then my heal, and then no. Okay, then we turn this. There you go. And then do I heal? And then is that Pony? Pony? What's it doing here? What's this? A plush toy? Regardless of why it's designed to look like the conductor aboard the Astral Express, this doll. Is it connected to the case? Have you ever heard of something called a red herring in detective stories? It's a fake clue that leads you down the wrong path. I see. Well, when it's so obvious, doesn't that defeat the purpose? That, that's just in case you didn't realize the ingenuity of Miss Buffle and were worried about her throwing out a random useless clue. <laughs> I see. Thank you for your keen insight. Then, let's pretend we were misled by a red herring. Hmm... This doll... Could it be connected to the case? Uh... You don't have to play along that hard, you know. Hmm... I mean... The doll's right th Oh, we shouldn't acknowledge that, nope. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Push? Oh, I killed him! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, that's all there. It's like... It's like some Tom and Jerry action as it did. <laughs> Get knocked down, bitch! What you gonna do, huh? Alright, I fail. Alright, so next clue is this the final one? This notice... Seems like a hint for us from Miss Sparkle. Okay, to prevent criminals from hiding our great and lovely bespoke, the gold hammer was in shall Ada by the following regulation for today's onward. 1. All returns and visitors must enter and exit the golden hammer residence using the facial recognition system. 2. Those who cannot pass through the facial recognition system will be killed on the spot. 3. These villages are infected immediately. That oh my. sounded like a story from ancient times. And why did the facial recognition system suddenly go out? This is so her style, isn't it? Okay, is that it? Look like there are any more clues. Let's head back to the crime scene. Oh, that's over. Next, should we pin down the identity of the perpetrator? 
this evidence. I've been staring at it all day, but there's nothing that can identify the perp. Lefton, that guy lost his hand. Remember Zhang Shan's face was disfigured after the incident at the cliff? Right. I remember this one best. Right has a broken leg. Why Both. don't we flip the question and start by asking who couldn't be the murderer? After all, there are only three suspects, so elimination could be a valid method. If you put it like that, then do you already have someone in mind? Tell me, come on. Hmm. Do we know? We got the answer to the question. Okay. Exclude left in, excluded. Okay, let's start with the one with broken legs. So, who exactly is the murderer? I remember this one best. Right has a broken leg. Hmm. A broken leg? Um. Oh, we got. Let's see. Shamai? Okay, I should probably. Oh, wait, never mind. None of that has the names. So, who I remember? Okay. This. Broken leg. Oh, this. Okay. What should the broken leg? Um. The idea belongs to Shamai. Walk up the, up the talent bar to put in the sister piece to most ice piece have found that I greatly. Apparently, some has even installed it into their foreheads. It's surely that they can show off the people of the girls. Spoke by the field crime scene and from some. the, the south song one. <gasps> Just figure face this one! So, who exactly is the murderer? Remember, Zhang Shan's face was disfigured after the incident at the cliff? Right? It's this one, right? It has to be this one. Oh, is that so? I feel like the evidence doesn't really match. Okay, I take it back. How about you think it over again? I take it back. It's not that one. So, at the cliff... Hmm... A cop for gold hammer was in the security system. Buckle probably made up on the spot just for the detective game. It says... To put in Kuma's party over great in love. Miss Buckle to gold hammer was shot up the side. Hmm, it's probably this one. Poor guy. He was yep, seriously that's right. injured and was all wrapped up in bandages to keep his good looks safe. If that's the case, then he couldn't have made it through the Goldhammer Residence's facial recognition system. That would suggest that Zhongshan is not the murderer. Nuh uh. Oh, wait, that's one down. So, who exactly is the murderer? Left in? That guy lost his hand. Hmm, it's probably the hammer. I suspect it is. The giant hammers wouldn't have a sparkle used to attack Somali. Hmm, it seems to be a custom made model suited for her. It's extremely heavy and even shampoo can live his own hand. Bodily hallucinant woman. Based on the bailiff's statement, Lefton's dominant hand was seriously injured to the point where he had to learn how to live using only his left hand. That sounds right. Mm -hmm. Swinging that giant sledgehammer to murder someone. That must be hard for him. Probably impossible. Left in suspicion level can be downgraded. By process of elimination, it seems that only right could be the murderer. That was easy. Let's tell the constable our answer and see what he thinks. Oh, so it's that one. Okay. What do you think? Please begin your investigation, Lady Black Swan. There are lots of clues at the crime scene that are sure to help you apprehend the real culprit. The murderer is right. <sighs> You have answered correctly! As expected, you didn't disappoint, Lady Black Swan. Game rules stipulate I must tell you where the next puzzle is. Huh? The next puzzle? I didn't sign up for this. Looks like the key to winning lies not in the puzzle itself, but in the motives behind Miss Sparkle's strange behavior. I'm afraid this chase may just go on forever. I have to remind you that Sparkle is a masked fool? Do you plan on finding logic in the mind of a masked fool? That's exactly what I plan on doing. Even if it's just subjective, there must be an overall principle behind the behavior. Memories cannot lie. And hers may just understand more about her than she does herself. Right now, let's follow her train of thought and head to the next puzzle. I hope this time we can get ahead of the Bloodhound family. I want to try and avoid using my Memo Keeper powers. Hmm. Alright, so the next one, next suggestions. What is he doing, Neil? Those are Bloodhound family, okay. Alright, next. So why are you so focused on Sparkle's challenge? Or should I ask, 
Are you more focused on Sparkle herself? Why do you sound like that? Alright, next time I told soon. You, it's purely out of a spirit of competitiveness. And as a memo keeper, I also have to fulfill my responsibilities and harvest some interesting memories. Okay. Now we stop right here. Oh, oh, I see enemies. Oh, I will go to talk and be like, hello, miss. Hello, um, Black Swan. Whoa, this place is a complete mess. And those two weirdos are probably here too. That's a There's clock. Nobody else at the scene. Seems like Miss Sparkle used the same method to send dreamers back to reality. Let's talk to those two there then. Yeah, by floating. You're a sheriff? But you're a cook! Oh, Detective Black Swan and Detective Seppo! You finally made it! We're we'll being called that? What we do without your help. We're like, what the fuck's going on? Why are you talking like that? Is this some sort of artistic performance that young people are into these days? Is there something wrong with the way we are talking? Deputy Sheriff, am I talking in a strange way? Oh, of course not, Sheriff. The way you talk is no stranger than the cat that climbs the apple tree in my grandma's backyard. Huh. The skit this time is a modernist one. Let's discuss this difficult case then. The victim is a galactic business magnate named Sparkle. Her again? Oh my god, why the two of us? Sparkle really is obsessed with scripting her own death. <laughs> if you undercut me one more time, I swear I'm gonna kick you in the butt. <clears throat> Miss Sparkle came to the fashion store to buy herself a brand new tie. She didn't come back out. After a long time, the shopkeeper went in to see what was going on. But instead, discovered Miss Sparkle's body. She had been strangled to death. There were three <laughs> suspects on the scene. Namely, a Papeshi shopkeeper named Rabbit, a Voxian gambler named Zhang Shan, and a wealthy Intellitron trader called Leftin. Same names? Our old friends. It's not just to aid your memory. We've added more descriptions to help tell them apart. Miss Sparkle is so gracious. Based on surveillance footage, witness testimony, and various pieces of evidence, the killer is ultimately among these three, and they were not working in cahoots. You're too lazy to be a suspect, right? Oh, for the laughter! If I talk any more with you, it'll make my pure soul filthy! Detective Black Swan, the dossier's over here. You can learn more about the suspects from me. I trust you'll be able to cut through the hogwash and find out who Miss Sparkle's killer is. I suppose the same person like the hell we did this before. Let me introduce the identities of these suspects to you. It's very straightforward. Okay, go on. Is the shopkeeper right? He's one of the Papashi people and only stands as tall as Sparkle's waist. Which is often a source of teasing for him. He can get pretty salty about it. Next up, you have the merchant Lepton. He wants to join up with the Panacone Trading Guild and is in direct competition with Miss Sparkle. That could be a motive for killing her. Finally, there is the gambler Zhang Shan. He lost a bet to Miss Sparkle and he had to hand over his family heirloom. It's possible he harbored a grudge against her. That's all the information we have. Do you need me to repeat it? Hmm, that won't be necessary. That won't be necessary. I remember it all. Okay. Investigate the crime of the scene, starting with the paper, and then we're gonna go to that place next, are we? There's an accounting book lying on the ground. It must have been specially placed there by Sparkle. On the title page is written, Chen Katong. Is that someone's name? <gasps> a code name! Oh, I think it's the name of the owner of this book! This Chiang Katong person should be Sparkle's targeted victim this time around. Hmm, yeah, we got one clue down. One down. Next up, boxes and purple stuff. And there's the tie. That skit before said that the deceased was strangled. Is this tie some kind of joke murder weapon? The tag on the tie reads, only for Imperial Master Lefton. Seems like it's one of Miss Sparkle's personal belongings. That's not how you use the word Imperial. 
Okay, so the close to the crystal sulfide. Wish we're going. So, it's just like the first case then. Only two pieces of evidence. The rest hidden inside her memories again, right? Miss Sparkle doesn't want to distract your investigation. She doesn't want to distract our investigation? What a law-abiding citizen this Sparkle is. Why doesn't she surrender then? Hmm. Yes. Okay, moving on. Let's go. Talk to me, small. Alright, enter this enter pit. Oh, okay. Um So let's start from Oh Fuck! I'm so why did you jump? Oh, this is not Geshi Impact, that's different. <laughs> okay, moving on. So if I can't go that way, um I guess we're gonna go to heal then, that's the case. We don't got a choice, you know, we don't got a choice. <gasps> oh look who it is. I'm sexy again! Huh, so that clock thing is broken somehow. Uh, then let's start with this clue over here. A little stool that seems quite normal. There are two small footprints drawn on it in crayon. The footprints, which are half as big as standard, must belong to a Papeshi person. Perhaps it's just that this person's drawing skills are extraordinary. <laughs> Okay, that's one clue down. Uh, next clue? Oh, it's this one. Which I'm gonna grab next. What's that smell? Why is there a smoke red herring there? Mr. Sampo, take a look. This is a wonderful smoked red herring. Somebody save me from this cringe joke. Even among the <laughs> fools I know, Miss Sparkle's sense of humor stands out from the rest. Have but you she dealt evil. with many masked fools before? No, only a handful. After all, I prefer warm memories baked in sunshine. They're the ones that usually belong to kind people. Okay. So we got some fish. Ooh, make some sushi. I want some sushi. Yeah, give him tassels. Oh, got the next one though. We have to go. Huh? How are we gonna get up there then? That's the case. Hmm. That clue is up there, and oh yeah, you can't even get up there. Um. Uh, then how are we gonna do this then? Oh, I think I see. I think I see why. Okay, let's touch this again. I'm being small. No, my boobs are gone. I'm a guy in this universe. Dang it! All right, moving on. Touch this to teleport. Oh, look at that! Escape for reach. What do you mean? The next puzzle piece is up here. Now, Clocky looks pretty destroyed. So let's repair it. Clock is. Open it up and take a look. Okay, we're gonna fix this up first. Now this puzzle looks... I... Oh, let me do this, there you go. Now this one needs a ton. There you go. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, that's easy. Oh, Regan! Oh, there's a ring inside. This is evidence too. Why was it planted inside another device? Because this ring was found inside the victim's mouth. We want to reconstruct the scene of the crime. Like, bury me! In the victim's <laughs> mouth. Yeah, it's like, like, eat the ring, I want to bury you! Hey, there's something engraved inside the ring. Zhang Shan Family Heirloom. Hmm. That should be it. Let's head out. Yep, sort of close. I have to thank you, Mr. Assistant Detective. Oh no. But the puzzle this time is pretty strange. Have you found out who the killer is? Just some shallow intuition. Anyway, let's report back to the sheriff for now. Okay. Hey, Fatty. Oh, for the laughter! Didn't think I'd be seeing Detective Black Swan so soon. Was that? You found out who the killer is? Pretty much. You live up to your reputation, Detective Black Swan. As smart as the nest of magpies roosting in the roof of my Uncle Frank's garage. Uh, 
This guy is mixing up his birds here. Then go ahead. Who is the killer? And what evidence do you have to prove the case? Hmm. Identify the murderer. Good. Then let us appreciate your powers of deduction. Okay. Let's type from a child. Why would a child be a murderer? That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Have you solved the case? Right as a Papeshi citizen, and Miss Sparkle was a low key bigot, always laughing at his height. Hmm. Why are you. Why? The ancient book of the witch merchant Kyu Xing for the merchant is the power of some second only opponent of Bunny. Sparkle probably left in the crime scene to prove that she really did assault someone. A could tie. The Lewis boy. No, not this one. A small store with two small footprints down by his, using his crayon. Then it belongs to the perfect worker. This is past the most cooled out of the evidence. Must pass fallen for the... It's probably this one because it's a child. This stool is a piece of evidence, right? That's right! That's the one! Mr. Okay. Mr. always teased poor Wright until he was unable to take it any longer. Eventually... Murderous intent was born. Taking advantage of his position, he stole Lefton's tie and told Miss Sparkle, Miss, please come with me to the changing room. I'd like to show you a matching tie. Miss Sparkle never thought Wright would retaliate against her, so she went back with him to the changing room. As Wright stood atop the stool and helped Miss Sparkle try on the tie as usual, he then suddenly pulled it tight. And that's how we killed Miss Sparkle. What a tragedy! If it weren't for your incisive detective work, the murderer would still be at large. Hmm, seems kind of strange. Uh, is something wrong here? This is too easy. The first case wasn't hard, but this one. As you can imagine, the conclusions that the evidence points to are not mutually exclusive. Which means. This is probably another prank from Miss Sparkle. Mr. Assistant Detective, please feel free to point out a suspect as the murderer. Ah, oh, I see. Sheriff, the murderer is Lefton. The evidence is the tie, right? Correct, Detective Sampo. I never thought you'd be able to deduce the truth. Sheriff, the murderer is right. The evidence is the stool, right? Yes! For the laughter, how did I fail to realize this formidable intellect of yours? Dead. Right from the start, there was no murderer. The evidence is the ring. Whatever, I'm just spitballing here. Goodness me. Deputy Sheriff, is he really a genius? How could such an unfathomable mystery be solved so easily by him? Oh. Look, Miss Sparkle has given us a puzzle where every single answer is correct. I take it so seriously. Miss Sparkle is a masked fool, not a masked genius. If it's a challenging puzzle you want, please go out there and turn right until you get to the Intelligentsia Guild. We're only responsible for providing an entertaining detective experience. Anyway, since our genius detective Black Swan has cracked the case, I will now share Miss Sparkle's next puzzle with you. <sighs> This is just going to go on and on forever? We can't do that. Hmm. Then I wish you both the best. Oh, yes, if you're not in a hurry, I can tell you the answers for some of the outcomes you never chose. Uh, I think I'm good on it. Just as you said, solving puzzles is all just a cover for something else. That girl is toying with us. What should we do now? Just keep getting led around by her? Truly, Miss Sparkle is a fascinating person. She seems chaotic inside, but easy enough to understand. Like a performer on the stage or a child hungering for attention. This game will be over soon. This time, we're going to catch her. Oh, sorry, uh, I was looking at how boob was bouncing up and down while walking, I can't help that. So, oh, what are those enemies or are those people? Oh, you never mind, They'll, we're gonna talk to them this time. Miss Black Swan, Mr. Sappho, you're finally here. I am the famed detective of Panacone, and next to me here is my assistant detective. He looks ugly! A murder in a locked room has left us all stumped. 
As expected, another change in setting. This is round three. Yesterday, my assistant and I were visiting the famous artist Miss Sparkle, and we stayed the night. But this morning, Miss Sparkle didn't come out of her bedroom. The butler Jean Chen said that the door was locked from inside, so we ought not to have disturbed her. But Miss Sparkle had never slept in so late. And no matter how hard he knocked, there was no answer from inside. As soon as I heard, I knew something must have happened. So I acted decisively and broke the door down to get inside. The room was covered in spattered blood. Miss Sparkle's body was lying right in the middle, her face white as snow. One look told me she'd been dead for some time. Thinking quickly, I grabbed the artist's canvas to staunch Miss Sparkle's blood, but... Alas, poor Miss Sparkle. She's left us now forever. Besides us and Zhang Shen, the butler, left and the cook and right the driver were also at the scene of the crime. <sighs> what would you like to do? Presumably, Miss Sparkle is now carefully arranging the next crime scene, right? Why don't you skip all this rigmarole and just have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with me? It might tickle a little. <sighs> Wait up! Wait up! Hmm. Honest kid. I know where you are, Miss Sparkle. No, no cheating. cheating! Huh. Mr. Assistant Detective. You seem to be getting anxious. Uh, uh no, I, I, it's, <laughs> this lock room murder case is pretty fun. <laughs> I, I want to guess who it was. Let's go. Can't keep a girl waiting, can we? Hey, Miss Black Swan, wait up, wait, wait up. up. Miss Sparkle has one final message to announce. Oh, what? Ding a ling! Now comes the most exciting and romantic moment in any drama the audience challenge. Why is he dressed like that? The mighty masked fool sparkle can change her appearance to look like others. And in this drama, the villain Sparkle has disguised herself as another character. So then, I put to you which character is it? Oh, he wants to pick, also, huh? If you're interested in the locked room case that the memo keeper ignored, you can try out your powers of deduction. I put lots into coming up with a puzzle, so don't let it go to waste. Thus, the mass genius Miss Sparkle has thrown down the gauntlet. All the clues are in motion. Happy hunting! Oh boy. So I could go to them or I'm leaving alone. Okay, I knew Sampo was being sus Miss, from the start. Why didn't you just do this earlier? Such a crude approach violates my aesthetics of memory. But as a means to an end, I need to put this aside for a more indifferent process. How am I doing? <laughs> Walking, Mr. Bouncy. Now let's keep walking towards Sparkle's hiding spot. Oh, Sparkles! Where are you? You downstairs next? A trash can? Oh, now we're fighting enemies? I'm guessing we are. There's no weird sweet dreams true, nor is there evidence strewn all over the place. We finally caught up with her. Uh, but what's that thing? A Bella Boggian trash can? In Penacone? Hey! Dear Memo Keeper and Mr. Coldfeet, you made it. I didn't expect you to skip the final puzzle. That's on me. All right, all right. Miss Sparkle cares not for the faults of ants like me. Come then, this is the final question. Listen up. What creature has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? A, a dick. No murder case this time around. Sometimes it's nice to take things easy. Come on, dear, give me your answer then. Hmm. <sighs> a trash can. Seeing as you're right here in front of me like this, then I guess the answer is a trash can. Right? Womp womp. Wrong answer. That's funky, but a wild guess. I was joking. Sparkle. What? 
When sleepy in the morning, she can't get out of bed. She so Annie just does about sparkles then, that's hilarious. Luster, so is exhausted by evening, but has to still raise a hand to hold a toothbrush. Poor sparkle. So naturally, she's got four legs in the morning, two legs in the morning. And three legs at night. What the heck was that jibber jabber? What a cute answer. Thanks for the compliment, my dear. But you can't try to fool me, seeing as you just tried to cheat. Wrong answer. Accept your punishment. And we're fighting. Oh no, guess what? You're gonna die anyway, so watch this. Huh? What's with this? Hey yo, she just moaned from getting hit? I mean, she probably enjoyed that. <laughs> you want to be hit like that? I mean, I don't mind that. Oh, that's your weakness? Oh, that's also your weakness? Well, this one. Okay, that is not your weakness. I take it back. But this one. No, it's just gonna be Kafka's and that. Oh, boy, that sucks. So I have to pick the weakness, that's it. Take this. Boom. Boom. That's so much damage, like holy shit. What are you next? Oh, okay, that's a strong ass kick. Oh, that is so dangerous. He should definitely heal. He should definitely heal. Oh, fuck. Just in time. Just a little. Kaka must have been hurt so badly from the holy shit. Don't kill my mother. Has truly blessed me. Oh, he's bolting. You're going down. Relax. Oh, wait. <laughs> you can even attack this, though. That breathing yeah, take the ease. <laughs> You're almost down. You attacking next. Uh -oh. Not Kafka! No! Dogs to kick a tits so high, damn! Well, you're done. What would you like here? You've been done anyway, so. You're in that shape. I can't even chunk it out. Give me an idea. Idea. Time's passage is uncommon. You're killing my wife's! My lord! Okay, my joy. What? What kind of achievement is that? Okay, I'm not liking this. Okay, March is the finale. Thank you, March. Oh my lord. You killed my wife's. One is still alive. That sucks. <laughs> Holy smokes. What's up with this guy? He just came out swinging from nowhere. That's a woman. Huh? No voices? <sighs> this guy's pretty quiet. Miss, let's hurry up. Flip open the lid and find the girl. Wait. Don't move. Something's off. Huh? What happened? Uh, uh, miss! You... you killed Sparkle! Uh... Why did we ask it was like digging, Opa? Oh, that is hilarious! How can people die inside Pentaconi's dreamscape? In the Garden of Recollection. What did you do? <sighs> you did this, didn't you? Killing people in their dreams. Only the remembrance has the powers to do that. You planned it out all from the start because she teased you and was pranking you. You wanted to kill her. Oh, I understand. You refused to let me go because you wanted to drag me into all of this. If I don't agree, I'll end up just like she did. There is no death inside Penacone's dreamscape. That's the promise of the family and the blessing of the harmony. Not even a memo keeper can break this barrier. There's no need to take such great pains. If you just want confirmation, I've already told you the answer, Miss Sparkle. M Miss Sparkle? Who are you talking to? You. You. Sparkle has disguised herself as another character. Wouldn't that be you? Mr. Sampo. I was right! Don't jump to conclusions! If you want to accuse me of being Sparkle, you have to provide the evidence. Oh, I'm afraid evidence is a little too hard to come by. So, 
Deduction will do. <laughs> the hint for the final mean? question was a little too obvious. Oh, you mean the locked room murder? <laughs> I thought you weren't doing that one. All the painstaking effort that Miss Sparkle put into it. How could I ever miss it? The key to solving the puzzle lay in two pieces of information put forward by the detectives. First, the large splatter of blood at the crime scene. Second, the victim had been dead for some time. Mm -hmm. Based on my shallow understanding, I can only draw two conclusions. One is that the murderer did not need to create a locked room case because a locked room always needs a reason to exist. But based on the detective's description, this locked room did not delay the discovery of the body. There was no third party at the crime scene to frame and the blood everywhere didn't look like a faked suicide. That mm. being so, the murderer seems to have no reason for creating a locked room. There is also reason to speculate that if the crime scene was a locked room, then its creator might not necessarily be the murderer. As for my second conclusion, it's even more obvious still. When everyone broke into the scene of the crime, why did the assistant rush off to staunch the blood? A trained professional was somehow happily destroying a crime scene just to save someone who's obviously been dead a while. The answer is simple. It's because the assistant detective is the murderer. At the time, I was in such a hurry that I didn't hear the whole mystery. I tentatively speculated that the murderer had killed the victim the night before but hadn't locked the door from the inside. And so, when he learned this piece of information, he realized that the victim had created their own locked room mystery. That's why he had to rush to the crime scene as soon as possible, to confirm whether or not the victim left any evidence implicating him. And judging by his behavior, it probably had something to do with that canvas, like some final words. Of course, this is just a simple mind game. The answer to the puzzle isn't important. Miss Barkle just wanted to pass on one hint to me. That the murderer is the assistant detective. Which means it's you, Mr. Sambo. I've been using this term of address, but it was you who first came up with it. Has anyone ever told you that you're more like a detective? Than a memo keeper? In my opinion, there is no difference between the two. Follow ripples along the surface of the water. Use some abilities and tricks to keep diving deeper. And touch that secret deep inside people's hearts. Salvage it. And protect them carefully. The truth does not lie. Neither do memories. Exquisite reasoning! And very close to the truth. But I have another answer. Would you like to hear it? Another answer? The great artiste Sparkle locked herself away in her bedroom using red paint to create the semblance of spattered blood everywhere. And that assistant detective who was first on the scene, who confirmed her death, was not the murderer but rather an accomplice who assisted her in faking her own death. What a pity. Such a pity. My dear, you were so, 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 so close to the right answer. Unfortunately, the right answer is... Miss Sparkle's body. Sparkle was disguised as... Sparkle's body. Billy. Ding a ling! I won! <laughs> you are funny! Does Miss Sparkle's body even count as a real character? Why not? Miss Sparkle's body appeared in all three of those skits just then. It's a little bit forced, but it's fine. So, who is this Mr. Sampo then? Beautiful lady. I already confessed everything to you earlier on. I really didn't know a thing. I just helped a friend send a letter. That's all. 
So I've been running a fool's errand this whole time. My dear, why so serious? Haven't you been having a great time? I have, at least. You take memories, and I get joy. We get what we need from each other. Seeing as we're such kindred spirits, but also such loners. Why don't you come and work with me? <gasps> Ooh, we can dance ballet together. Oh? Am I understanding this correctly? A masked fool inviting me to work together? A show of unprecedented splendor is about to be staged in Panacone. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. If you want to appreciate this drama, you have to stand up under that spotlight as you take the stage and watch the dancing envelop you. Come with me. This is the best seat in the house. I don't really understand why you're so fixated on destroying family barriers. But, as I said before, a memo keeper can't help you. It's frankly above my pay grade. Also, I don't consider you a loner. Oh, I don't mean him, but rather behind you. The one who hired you to come to Panacone probably doesn't want you secretly linking up with other forces, right? How did you know? Memory is like the deep blue sea. But if you try to catch two fish with one cast, you might not be satisfied with your catch. <laughs> so, you mean, you're refusing? Memo Keeper, did you think you could just leave? Why not? <laughs> My dear, I don't want to scare you. You'll know the answer sooner or later. We're just getting to know each other a little today. If you ever change your mind, come find me at the tavern. That is, if you can find me. <laughs> Let's go, Sam... Sampo? Sampo. Who is... Sampo? Hmm? Uh, this is... This is... Bellabog, right? Oh my god, this is hilarious. I said, why not? Hmm, <laughs> don't worry. Such a crude approach violates my aesthetics of memory. So once you leave my sight, you'll be able to remember everything again. And also, I'm sorry, my dear. My dream dance partner? I've already got sights on someone else. Huh? And who is that? Is that me? Ooh, but Kafka's gonna kill me if you try to do something by sucking my dick. But no, Kafka does that. Oh, for look at everyone all dead. Captivating as being in a dream within a dream. Okay, you done talking? No, he's my wife's are dead. That's the end of this black swan's dream, mother. Are you satisfied with your experience? Hmm. Mm. How fascinating. I also found this dream suitably fascinating. You've gained joy from it. You've gained joy from it. And Miss Black Swan surely also feels gratified. Yeah? If we meet again. I will pass your esteemed praise on to you. Ah, I noticed that the people in your dream were familiar to me. It's worth repeating that dreams are just dreams. And in Penacoy, dreams can be processed, or even tempered. Things in our dreams cannot be trusted, let alone in someone else's dreamscape. If there's any information that you'd like to confirm, uh, please do so by the cold heart. Reality. <laughs> so um, I'm awake. Eh? 
But but Jim again. Um okay, I guess we are. Really? I wouldn't do anything to her. Don't worry about that, memo keeper. Let's talk about my thing. I've helped you out with everything you've asked, as agreed. Shouldn't you give my mask back to me now? Since when did the masked fools suddenly start respecting agreements? <laughs> Just kidding. I loved seeing that look on your face. Take this key to the tavern cellar, third barrel on the left. You never saw me. But Sampo, after all this time, what made you suddenly want to take back your mask? This doesn't seem like the Sampo I know. Let me guess. A catastrophe is coming to Yorello 6. Am I right? Well, no comment about that. But I love that line you said. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. <laughs> really makes sense. <laughs> That's a funny impression. Sometimes even an old timer like me feels like taking the stage and making a fool out of myself. If you're all out of options, please get in touch with me. I'm the kind of person who values friendship highly. Aren't you evil? Forget it. You'll be doing me a favor if you stay away from Bellabog. After all the elation that Miss Sparkle seeks isn't something old Sempo can stand by. Go tell Giovanni I said hi. Fine, I'm just spitballing here. Don't take it so seriously. Why so serious? So is that it? Okay, that was short. Oh boy, that's a funny way to end it. I'm just drinking while alone now. Great. And I'm getting a text message. Oh, who's this? Uh, oh, what do you want? Black Swan? Uh, Clarius, I imagine you have always seen that dream bubble. Well, I just want to know if anyone has come looking for you yet. Mm, Black Swan? Black Swan? Indeed, the milk you know. <laughs> I'll make that simple. That fool named Spock is clearly searching all over the place for that dream bowl. I don't know what her intentions are, but allowing the slip into our hands will make the decision more confusing. Catalyst, can you do if you and go with the that dream bubble? Of course. Yeah, no problem. Your answer is reasoning. I'll go with you. But I don't know where that dream bubble was left. Can you remind me? Hmm. Uh. How could a milk forget a meme? Uh, like, how can you forget it? Are you really a black swan? Mm, you freaking me out? Well, I'm not a true milky after all. What? I can't believe you're freaking me out so quickly. How dull. Pranks all over the black and forth. You see how much I love the milky one? You should learn from her young... From her young nameless. This is just the beginning. I'll be back. Hmm. Put it on. Who, who, check who's... Oh. Okay, that is not the Black Swan. That's probably someone else. And I get a text from Black Swan again. What do you want, Lee? Uh. Okay, she said this. I'm getting deja vu here. You may also know that it's just you. You then just young fool Sparkle. She was going to disguise herself with other people. Clearly, yes. Has she tried with you already? Wait. Then you might be, if the case, you could be spoken this guy's too. I see you're on high alert. What would you have me to prove I am me? Uh, a unique expression? Uh, so unique logistics habits like whether you ask the first time or not to message, but if that's a little misful existence of position, there is a chance that they could play me anything about a person. Oh, chill with the text messages, lady. Maybe with the whole thing, my god. Okay, maybe with the whole thing. Jeez. I think that's the only thing that can d as different someone from another in their memories. They has no one outside the city or inmate every ounce of the person's memory. It's just like when we met in Penacoli, is it not? A strange dream that surrounded us. A series of strange murderers uh, with different dreams and truth that lies beneath the water surface. Hmm, do you need me to go on? I need more. <laughs> I can't be the one do all the talking. By your logic, you should all have to prove that you are not sparkles, Clelius. Huh? <gasps> I'm just joking. As Milky, I actually know who the person is on the other side of the screen. 
Miss Falcon's pranks are not without the benefits. She is able to make us we exhale what the seeing though about the appearance and reality of the dreamscape. This is also the reason that I share the dream bubble with you. Alright, looks like she hasn't caused any major damage. I will put my mind at ease. Talk to you again soon. Alright, that's over. Alright guys, I'm gonna nail. Like subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.